Hey everyone, this is Mastermind278 here once again with the Motorola Atrix 2. I'm going to show you guys on how to install a custom ROM. Specifically today, I'm going to be installing the Supercharged Atrix version 5 update 2 uh, on a uh, Atrix 2. Uh, this phone basically just got it rooted, just installed the Clockwork mod. You can watch my other videos to figure out how to get that done. So let's get started here. So first thing I'm going to do is actually plug in the USB to the Atrix 2 here. Alright. And we are going to connect it to USB mass mode storage. There we go. So now we're going to go to our computer. Give me one second here. All right, and we are going to open folder to view files, and this is the SD card on this phone right now. So we're actually going to go here, and we downloaded the the file. So we have the supercharged V5, and it says do not flash for a good reason because you're not supposed to flash it as a RAR or a zip. So we open it up, and we get a folder here that says clockwork mod and we double click it we see a folder called backup and a folder called uh, and a file called readme uh, what I'm gonna recommend is just take this whole clockwork mod folder and just drag it to the um, the root of the SD so just drop it anywhere so it's not in one of these folders out here and then it's just going to extract it right into the phone. All right, so we're now we're moving the files. And I'm just going to wait for this to finish. It would have been quicker if I just dragged it over to my computer first and then to the root of the SD card, but it doesn't really make a difference. It is important that you do put, do take it to the root of the SD card and that uh, you do extract the whole clockwork mod folder. So we are in the root of the SD and the clockwork mod folder right there. So now I'm just going to eject this drive. There we go. So now we're going to go back to the Atrix 2 here. And we are going to change it to charge only. Click OK. That step really wasn't necessary, but I did it anyways. So now I'm just going to power off the phone. Okay, so the phone's powered off. Now I'm going to turn it back on. And since we have the fix for the global recovery, it should boot us right up into recovery. And here we go, our standard clockwork mod recovery. Um, unlike other ROMs with some of the other phones, uh, this one's actually set up to not be uh, install flash from S. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> install zip from SD card. So we're actually going to do a recovery instead. But before we get to that, um, you should read the README file that is included with this ROM, which explains every step that I'm talking about. But the next thing you want to do is actually do a wipe data factory reset. And yes, we want to delete all user data. So um, this is actually a little different. So we're actually just restoring a backup that um, that was done for this ROM. So that's why it's done slightly different than you would expect. But it still should work just fine. So we're still formatting our data, which is pretty much going to uh, delete all our user settings, all our user information, um, which I do recommend using a program to back up your programs uh, such as titanium backup um, 
I personally use it all the time. Highly recommend it. It works very, very well to back up all your stuff. And we're still here formatting data. It's actually taking a little longer than most other phones, including just standard Atrix One. But it is the first time that we've tried this on this phone anyways. So that's done. So now from here, we're actually going to just do uh, backup and restore. Here we go. Let's back up and restore. So select that. And then we're going to choose restore. And then it says supercharged. You probably can't read it, but uh, it says supercharge V5. So we're going to choose that. And we're going to say yes to restore. And it should be restoring the system. And after this is done restoring, all we're going to have to do is just check reboot and we should be running a uh, custom ROM so we're just gonna wait for this to finish It's pretty much restoring every single little file right now. And we'll get we'll come back uh, once this part is done. Alright, so we're actually done with um, restoring, as you can see, uh, restore completed. It's given us a couple of um, not found here, that's totally fine. We don't want data or cache from another system to be restored anyways. So at this point, um, we're already on the reboot now. So we're just gonna press the power button here to reboot the phone. And it'll give us our first boot into a supercharged uh, V5 for the HX2. Um, as always, the first boot will probably be uh, pretty lengthy. Uh, normally, that is uh, how it works uh, after restoring or installing any ROM, for that matter. So this might actually take a little longer, but I figured let you guys know. Uh, the restoring did take a little while. It took um, a good five to seven minutes, just so you guys are aware. Um, don't worry, you'll see files scrolling, so it's not stuck in any boot loop or anything. Uh, this one does take a little longer and since there really isn't any text I'll just let you guys see this. Uh, there is a custom boot animation as you can see. We no longer have the AT&T boot animation. And like I said, this boot up will take longer than uh, all your next boot ups. Just a uh, little FYI for everyone. Just gonna continue to wait for this. All right, welcome. So it's the Android to begin. So let's touch that. Um, let's skip setting up the Google account next. And we have a option between Go Launcher EX or Setup. I'm just gonna go choose Go Launcher EX for now. I guess we're getting a quick preview of Go Launcher EX. And I 
don't want to see any of that for now. And here we go. Um, Atrix two bootstrappers asking for super user. And remember uh, from before, if you're using the the Clockwork Mod boot that's global by JY Daddy, you don't want to give it permission. So we are going to deny. So that's denied right there. Um, so now we're actually getting a bunch of messages here, so let's clear that out. Um, basically, we have Go Launcher here. And as you can see, it's still downloading stuff here. But we have it installed a custom ROM. And we definitely have a lot of stuff coming in. <laughs> but anyways, we do have custom icons up there. Um, so yeah, so that's how to install a custom ROM, uh, specifically supercharged uh, V5 for the Atrix 2. Depending on the ROM, you might just have to install zip from SD. Uh, this one was actually a restore, so that's why we did it that way. But as you can see, this is uh, this ROM installed. And if you guys need any help, just ask down below. Thank you and have a great day.